Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my April favorites. Can you believe it is time for April favorites already? We are like almost in May. Where the heck did, has this year gone? I mean, it's crazy. It's like so crazy. I feel like it was literally just Christmas, but I digress, it's fine. I um, have so many good things this month to show you. I have a bunch of makeup. I have some body care, skincare, and like a couple of random things. So it's gonna be good. So let me start with this guy. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I feel like I've talked it to death um, in past videos, but it is the Too Faced, the Natural Love Palette. It is so good, you guys. If you haven't gotten it, you really need to. It is just your mix of mattes and shimmers, and it's like the perfect, if you love, you know, neutral eyes, this is the one for you. I use it all the time. In one of my past videos, I used it and I created like more of like a golden um, smoky eye. It was like, I think I used Honey Pot. And I just, I love it. It's so versatile. If I just want to do like a couple of crease colors and call it a day, it it's it's good. You guys really need to get it. I'm so glad I picked it up. I was on the fence about it. I was like, ah, oh, I'm probably not going to get it. I got it and I use it all the time. So highly, highly love this. It, it's such a good deal. So I got that. And then the next, I have like a bunch of lip stuff and random stuff. So I'm going to do like the... Um, other stuff besides the lips first. So this is the LA Girl, the Pro Powder, the High Definition Setting Powder in Banana Yellow. I showed you guys this in a haul and I think I showed it in a video. It is a loose powder like this. It is so good. It is not yellow like you would think yellow. It is not like banana yellow like the Ben Nye. It is more of a light beigey tone that I think is so flattering on my skin tone, on any skin tone. It's going to really brighten up your under eyes, but not with that white flashback that you're used to, like with some white powders. I'm obsessed with it. I, it's like so cheap and like so, you know, random, but you can get it at Ulta. LA Girl is now sold in Ulta or any place near you that sells LA Girl. That's the only place near me. Um, check it out. Let me know what you think because I'm, I'm really liking it. I've been using it with my next favorite, these Eco Tools um, sponges, which yes, they're dirty because yes, I have been using them. This is the larger one. Um, this one is definitely more squishier than this. This is a little bit denser. They're both wet. Like I literally just use them. Um, I love the shape of them. I love the, turn that around because that's dirty. Um, because they're they get like right under your eyes and like you can really kind of rub your concealer in and, and pat it in and you don't have any problems. I'm I've used this with this as well. Like I'll go in and some days I'll just use this for everything. Um, if I'm feeling like I want to take my time, I'll take this one and I'll like use this for my corrector and I'll blend that in and then I'll go in do my concealer and you know kind of buff it in with this and then take this and use it with this and I think I showed that in a video um, and just kind of apply it and kind of bake, but like fake bake maybe um, because I just kind of like press it in and then whatever excess is just, you know, I rub it away. It's not like baking where I'm like caking my whole face with it. So these are amazing. If you have used the beauty blender and you've had the problem like I had with when they were drying out, like they all do that except the pink one. I have not used my beauty blender since I got these. I've been using them just nonstop. Every time I do my makeup, these are what I, I get wet and I, I use. And they really, and I, I got this like a while ago because um, I did my makeup and, um, you know, whatever, got ready to film. And it's it's still damp enough that like I could use it. So love these, love this. Highly recommend these as well, the Eco Tools. Really good. And then sticking with, I'll just like go on to face. This is the ColourPop. Um, highlighter in Wisp. It is so beautiful. I got this, I want to say two years ago, um, like when ColourPop was like huge and I love it. It is so flattering on my skin tone, on any skin, skin tone really. It is just a gorgeous kind of like uh, champagne-y bronze, like champagne -y gold. It is so pretty. I love it. I just Take my finger and dab it on my cheeks. I'm actually wearing it today. So nice. Obsessed with it. Like, and it's so good because like for me, I've been kind of into like the easy um, looks. Like I've just been pulling out a bunch of these products, just kind of using them to do like five minute makeup. And this, because I could just use my finger and dab it on and it gives my cheek a pop. I don't even need to use blush if I don't want to. I'm just really loving it. Um, and then the blush that I have been loving is by Essence, which is again, another cheapy, um, get it at Ulta. It's called the Satin Touch Blush and it, it is in the shade 20 Satin Love. I freaking love this. Look at this color. It is made for me. It is just your neutral pinky tone that 
it almost looks coral when I swatch it, but it really is not. It is so pretty, like seriously. And I think it was like two or three dollars. And I was just perusing Ulta one day, I was bored and just kind of looking through all the drugstore stuff. And so like sometimes you can find some really good gems, like the Ellie Girl stuff. And I saw this and I'm loving it. I really, I've just been wearing it nonstop. I think I wore this, I wanna say in my past video, I had this on. It's so pretty. It's just that neutral pink color that just gives your cheeks like that beautiful pop. So love that. Um, this is another random one. I got this thing at Target. It is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. It literally smells like roses in a nice way. Like it's just like a tinted balm type of thing. It's like a moisturizing lip balm for your lips. Only it has a tint. It has like a, a rosy tint. Um, and I've been loving this. I usually like to put it on before I do my makeup. It just really moisturizes them and gets my lips ready for lipstick that day. And I've also been loving it on the days where I'm doing like that no makeup makeup look or like that five minute because it's so, it's moisturizing and it's slightly tinted. So I'm not gonna look like, you know, drawn or anything or dead because I don't have anything on my lips, but yet it's still gonna keep them hydrated instead of just putting on like a clear balm. Really enjoy this. I don't take this with me because, you know, you have to put your finger in it and I need to be, you know, sanitary. Like this is how, Crazy. I keep uh, hand sanitizer literally on my vanity to constantly sanitize my hands. It's the makeup artist in me, I guess, that has to do that. But like before I use it and after I use it, I use that. So there you go. And this, I'm a little OCD, but don't tell anybody. Um, okay, these two together. This is my MAC um, Lay and Low Paint Pot, which I showed you in my past MAC haul video, which actually I had filmed like prior to when I put it up, um, like a couple weeks. So I've been using this quite a, quite a while. Um, it is just the Lane Low Paint Pot. It's basically like my skin tone. I love it so much. I don't know how I lived without it for so many years, like after I ran out of the other one. And I'm so glad they brought it back and that they made it permanent because I love it. Um, and I use it with this MAC 248. It is this, this tiny little synthetic brush. It, I have the bigger one. I think it's the 249 that I've showed you guys, but this is just a little baby synthetic brush. I use that, put it all over my lid, up to my brow bone. The minute I like blend it in slightly with my finger, it sets like that and it's like a, dries to like a powdery finish that doesn't budge. It's perfect for when I do like my quick makeup, I'll take just any palette. Well, I just have this MAC one sitting here, this semi-sweet. I'll take this and I'll pick like any crease colors, throw them in my crease. I have the, um, the Viseart Warm Matte palette sitting here. Um, any of those with this, I don't even need a lid shade. I don't need a brow bone shade. I just use this and I love it. And if you're wondering, you can use your finger, but I just like to use this little brush because I think it picks up the perfect amount and really blends it evenly on my lid. So I love those two together. And then again, another MAC product, the Fluid Line Pen, the, the um, black liquid liner. It is so good, you guys. Look at that tip. It is a felt tip and it's kind of flimsy. Like when you're using it, you're almost gonna think, oh my God, is it you know gonna break? But it's not. It's perfect for like especially for me because I'm really into like a really thin line along my upper lash line I don't really do wings anymore I don't think it's flattering on me I um, really just like like a thin line just to kind of give some definition and depth to my lash line and this is perfect for it it just fits your like the way it's shaped it literally fits your your upper lid perfectly so Love that, and when I store this, I actually store it upside down like this, so the tip is here, just so the product is always. Okay, so the first thing, it's gonna be this Sony Kashuk lip liner in Nude O Natural 01. I don't even know if they make this anymore. It is so nice. It is so perfect, like look at this. It is the most beautiful pinky nude shade that goes with all of my pinky nudes. I'm wearing it today. It works with more pinky nudes, nudes, uh, peachy nudes. It's gonna work with a variety of your nudes. Um, I have been using this as my replacement for my Too Faced um, Perfect Lips because it's very similar in tone and I kind of like this. It's a little bit, it's not as like slippery as some of the other lip liners because it's more of like, um, like a wooden twist up. It's not gonna be very, it's creamy, but it's not too creamy. It's really gonna kind of stay on your lips. So love this, I've been wearing it nonstop. Um, this Makeup Forever Lipstick in C105, I'm obsessed with it. I am so glad I pulled it back out and realized that I have it and I've been wearing it and trust me, it is so good. If you love pinky nudes, this is the one for you. It is so creamy and it's really long lasting. I just think it's so flattering. Love it so much. This one, the Too Faced Beach Babe. 
I'm kind of cheating in, in including this because I have not been using it all month, but I love it and I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. It is what I got from my, um, my VIB sale that I had to have. It is so pretty. So the top one is Beach Babe, the bottom one is the uh, Make Forever C105, and then that's the lip liner. I'm not cheating when, I, when I'm including this because I feel like I've worn it all month, even though I haven't, but it's that good. Like it had to make it into my favorites because it's, it's just my color. And it's the formula is so good. It, like when you put it on, it's not, I, want, I don't wanna say it's matte and drying, but it's more of like a drier uh, formula. So it's really gonna stay on your lips. It's not gonna slip around. Those are them there again. I love it. And then the next two are part of my out the door five minute makeup look. Um, this is the Clinique, the chubby plump and shine, the liquid thingy that I showed you. And it is a liquid, um, it's a gloss. And you twist it up, I believe, the bottom twists up, and then the product comes out the top. And it is way too much that I just swatched. This is the best color. It is in enormous nude. And it is right there. So gorgeous. I have been into more of the nudie colors, but like not like beigey nudes, more of like the your lips but better, like the darker nudes almost. It is so pretty. I actually have been keeping this in my purse and just applying it. I love it. Look at that color. If you love colors like that, you need to get this. I got this at Ulta. Now that most Ulta sell Clinique, I picked it up. I love it. I'm obsessed. And then this is the other one, the MAC uh, Cream Sheen Glass in Delight, which this I know I definitely, um, I think I Instagrammed a picture of this, Instagram story a picture of this. Again, that your lips but better color, only this leans a little bit more pinky. And then this one leans a little bit more nude, more brown. But this is so nice. When you put this on, you're going to, your lips are going to look plump and glossy and just youthful. I, I, it's the only way I can describe it. It is just so pretty. And it is right there. That's the Delight. And then that is the Clinique. So those are all of my lip shades right there. Love it so much. Like seriously. Um, okay. I have a couple more random things. Uh, before I forget, I want to show you this. This is something I've been wearing probably in every video. It is a kind of like a, not really a choker. Um, I got it a little bit longer to hang um, down a little bit more, but this is a necklace by my good friend, Melissa. Um, her, her Instagram is neutrals Inc. And that's what her Etsy story is. She makes all of this jewelry herself. And I have to say about 90% of my jewelry that I wear is from her. I just, I love her pieces. I love her style. She's got the best style, the best taste. Um, these bracelets actually are also from her. Um, just these little chain um, kind of gunmetal bracelets with the beautiful clasp. Um, I wear them, I love her pieces and I've just been wearing this nonstop because it's kind of edgy yet feminine. And I figured it would go great with this outfit and I've just been wearing it all the time. So if you've seen it, I always have it listed down below um, where it's from. But if you are wondering, this is what it is and I just, I love it so much. Um, so I got that. And well, I didn't get that. I want to show you that before I forgot. Um, and then I have body care, skincare, and like, okay, let me show you this first before I forget. Um, I got a new flat iron. This is the Bioionic, of course. I love this brand. It is the Bioionic One Pass. And this is the inch and a half. Um, when Ulta, uh, they sent me a 20% off with no exclusions for, I guess, re-upping my platinum status, which really isn't that hard. Um, you don't have to spend that much to re-up it and getting my eyebrows done and get everything done at Ulta really is easy to, um, to get it. So I got this with the 20% off and I love it. I needed a new flat iron, guys. I have one I've had for years and I needed it and I love it because I will, you know, flat iron these pieces, these kind of bang pieces that I love and just like if I have like around my hairline where I need to flat iron or if I just want to flat iron my whole head, I can. Um, the plates are so nice. They just like your hair, like literally just glides like butter. It just glides down. And my hair is so, I think I'm getting lip gloss in my um, hair as I'm talking, but that's okay. I love it. It has a really nice, like I'm, I'm all about the little things, like in the way things are built. They have like here for your, for your, the way you're holding it, um, for your hands, like a little um, grip thing. It's not just like flat where your hands, it's like an actual little place that you can hold for your hand. So it's kind of ergonomical for your hand to use it. So it's just really nice. And it's got a nice swivel uh, cord and it's got an on off switch and then it has the temperature control. Love this. I'm so glad I got it. 
I'm just, I really needed it and I love this Bioionic brand so much and I've just been using it. If you are in the market for a new flat iron, check this out. They have a one inch and then the one and a half inch. I just got that because it figured it'd be better for my hair. I could get more, um, more hair in here. So um, love this, really love it. I've been very happy with it. So that I had to show you. And then one skincare product. This is the Glytone, the Acne Self Foaming Cleanser. It's got 0.5% um, of salicylic acid. I didn't really need this for acne per se, but I got this because as I was reading about it, it is a foaming cleanser. So basically what I do, I've been using this kind of like as a, like a facial treatment at home. Um, because you pump it out and you rub it on your skin and it foams up immediately, like full on, full face of foam. Like you look like Mrs. Doubtfire when she um, put her face in the pie. Um, you put it on and then what I've been doing is I've been leaving it on there for a few minutes and then the, the foam kind of starts to dissolve and kind of works as like a facial where it's going to kind of purge your skin and cleanse your skin. And I've just been using it like as a treatment for that. Um, even though it's a cleanser, I've been using it like kind of as a mask almost because it's just going to just like dissolve away and then you just kind of rub your face and kind of you know rub the product in and then rinse it off and your skin is soft it's smooth and it just really feels like brightened so i've been loving this so much and it says not irritating formula so if you have sensitive skin you can do it and it just says it dries and clears acne blemishes and allows skin to heal um it penetrates to to eliminate the blemishes and it helps prevent so like i said i've been using this like as a mask and i've been doing it in the morning because I just find I really like the way my makeup applies after I use it. So got that. And then these two products right here are gradual tanners, which I know I've talked about so many times in the past. However, um, I have not self tanned in a month, in, in a while, in a couple, couple weeks, almost a month maybe, um, because I've just been using these. This is the hemp. If you have been with me for a really long time, then you remember this. You remember me just raving about this and talking about this nonstop. Um, it's the Hemp's Gradual Tan Lotion. Like I'm talking like two, three years ago I talked about this. And I stockpiled so many bottles because Ulta, it, it used to be available at Ulta. And they used to do like buy two, get one, or buy one, get one, or whatever. Um, and I love it. I have so many of them. Ulta doesn't carry it anymore, unfortunately. I don't know why. Um, so I've been using this. Like I'm being honest, this is what I've been using because I have so many of them. It and it just gives your skin a beautiful glow. It doesn't look orange, it doesn't look fake or anything. It's just like a natural glow, like you've been out in the Bahamas or something and you have a really pretty tan. So I've been using this and it moisturizes my skin and it's just kind of like all in one. So this is also what I used last night actually. This is the Vita Liberata Self Tanning Gradual Lotion. Now this is very expensive. This is like, I think 30 or 40 bucks for this, where this is like retails for like 18, I wanna say. And the, the product, this is eight fluid ounces and this is 6.76. So you can kind of do the math. Um, but this, you can't get anymore. I don't think I probably, I saw it on the Hemp's website, but I don't know where to find it because I can't find it in the store. So I don't know who else sells it, but if you find it, let me know. Um, but this I used, and this gave me like, this I think gives a little bit more of a darker tan than this one, but that's okay because I used it last night and I feel like I'm really tan and I just used it once. Um, but I've just been, in general, I've been loving a gradual tan lotion because I just find that it looks more natural on me and I don't have to you know, worry and make sure I didn't miss an area doing my self tan lo lotion, foam, whatever. Um, I do love the loving tan, I really do. Um, I think it gives a really pretty color. But there are times that I just don't wanna do that. I don't wanna wait, I don't wanna make sure it develops properly. These work and I could just put it on every day and I'm not gonna see anything. I mean, there may be, might be a couple days where I didn't do it for whatever reason, I used like my glycolic lotion or something, but really have been enjoying a gradual tan lotion. So the last thing I'm talk about is a little bit of fashion, which I don't really talk too much on my channel about, but maybe I want to incorporate more. So these are two t-shirts. Um, I have another one, a white one, but I wore it yesterday, so it's in the wash. Um, they are by the brand Z Supply, which I found <laughs> and I love. And they basically are your tees that are kind of like a boyfriend tee almost. They have the pocket. They have a little bit of, um, this is the camo one. Can you tell I'm like really into camo? Um, I always have, I just love those. I love green. I like, like love olive green. Just think it's really flattering on me. So I have a bunch of camo, but this is just the camo one. Did I Snapchat in this? Was I wearing this one time when I Snapchatted? Let me know if you remember. I, I feel like I did. I feel like I was wearing this and I Snapchatted. Um, 
but this is it. It is just, again, the pocket has like a V-neck. They're really loose. I got um, an extra small in them all and they are very loose, you know, even though they are, um, my neighbor is cutting his lawn. So I hope you guys don't hear it. I'm sorry if you do. I'm almost done. Um, so they're very kind of loose, but still form fitting and very flattering. Um, and they kind of come down in a shape um, you could see like it's kind of tapered like it's up on the side and it's kind of rounded on the bottom So it's so flattering like it gives your your body like kind of like that hourglass shape almost and It's kind of looks like it's not distressed, but like that burnout look that burnout um, Kind of like the white one really has that more of like that burnout like faded look I think that's what you call it like you could see it maybe in the back, but yeah you can see what I'm showing you. They're so comfortable. They're so cute. Um, they kind of remind me of the Bobby ones that I love and like the LA made ones, like they're the V-necks with the pocket. I love pockets. Um, they're just so flattering because like you can put them on with anything. Like the camel one, I wore them with just like distressed jeans um, and like nudie uh, flip-flops. Like I really kind of dressed it up in a way, even though they're super casual. Like the white ones, I threw it on with like leggings and, and how be honest, like I was just like, they're so cute and flattering that anyone can wear them. They come in a variety of colors. I want to get a couple more colors. Um, I'm going to get like a nude and then like a solid green and just like a couple other ones. Um, I got them direct from their website. They were, um, they have deals and stuff, but I just got it direct from their website. It came pretty quickly um, and they're just really nice. They're fairly inexpensive for like this. If you're used to buying like the LA made or the Bobby ones are kind of like in that same price line, but I just, I love them. The pocket is kind of droopy. I mean, they're just so cute. And like the, the ends are just so flattering. So if you are into tees like that and, and more, um, I have my exercise thing right here. So that's why I'm hooking it on there. So it's out of my way. Um, yes, I keep my exercise machine in my beauty room and I just move it when I film. Um, anyway, so, um, if you are into tees like that, more of like the boyfriend distressed burnout look, but not like super distressed, like ripped, but just like that burnout look. And they're really flattering. They'll go with jeans, they'll go with anything. I love them, they're super comfortable. They wash and dry really well. I've, I wash and dried all of them and they're, they're perfect. So that's pretty much all my favorites for this month. It was a lot and it was kind of random, but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you were loving for this month. Let me know if you've tried anything I've shown. I will see you in my next video. Give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you then guys, bye.